a complication related to an intraocular lens may mar the postoperative outcome of a meticulously performed phaco emulsification hence we need to be aware of these complications and also how to manage them in order to optimize the eventual postoperative outcome in this video we are going to share with you a potpourri of complications having the genesis from intraocular lenses This is a single piece hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens with a defective optic. Lenses from reputed companies also should come under strict scrutiny. It is extremely important for us to carefully inspect the IOL and the insertion system prior to getting the lens ready for implantation. In this insertion system for a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens The central plunger with the silicon tip is not properly aligned with the lumen of the cartridge. Attempt to use this system will definitely capture the haptic or the optic between the piston tip and the wall of the cartridge lumen. This is a cartridge tip of the Emerald injector system for the sensor IOL which was found to be defective. Use of this tip may result in aberration of the optic surface. In yet another similar case the cartridge damage is not only at the tip but also extends to its lateral surface if the defects however subtle they may be are not picked up during the pre-implantation inspection avoidable complications may arise during implantation of the lens let us see some of these avoidable complications in this particular case a resume multifocal intraocular lens is being implanted It is very clear that the plunger has overridden the optic surface and sandwiched the optic against the inner cartridge wall. If the plunger is pushed further, there may be further compression damage to the optic, though there may not be any obvious difficulty in lens insertion. So, we decided not to release the intraocular lens from the cartridge and withdrew the insertion system from the eye. We loaded a fresh eye oil in a different injector system as you see in the video to the right. You can see the implantation going on very smoothly. The plunger is clearly seen to push the trailing optic edge without overriding the optic surface. The next complication deals with a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens implantation. Here, some resistance was encountered during the lens insertion which was initially ignored. The trailing haptic release was rather sudden. Post implantation inspection of the cartridge tip revealed a rupture of the cartridge wall. The mismatch in the optic thickness and stretch limits of the cartridge perhaps resulted in rupture of the cartridge extending for a significant distance from the tip. This is another case that deals with difficulty in the release of the trailing haptic of a hydrophilic acrylic IOL from the cartridge. The early stages of IOL implantation proceeds smoothly. The trailing haptic would not emerge from the cartridge tip since it was incarcerated between the plunger tip and the cartridge wall. On further pressure on the plunger, the cartridge tip ruptured, revealing the laceration of the trailing haptic. This IOL was exchanged. In the next case which is quite similar to the previous one resistance was encountered throughout the implantation process The trailing haptic could never emerge from the cartridge because it was captured between the plunger and the cartridge wall This usually results when the axis of the plunger is not aligned with the axis of the cartridge nozzle or when the silicon tip is too bulky ultimately the cartridge tip had to be amputated along with the trailing haptic to release the incarceration this iol was also exchanged with a similar design iol this combination of clippings shows the insertion of technis multifocal intraocular lens 
and the Xeon silicon intraocular lens using the Silver Series system. This lens design when launched was meant to be implanted using the holder folder forceps. For convenience sake, it became a custom to deliver the lens using the Silver Injector Series. The IOL optics cracked in each case. These problems perhaps could have been avoided if proper and appropriate implantation system had been employed. These IOLs were exchanged with similar IOL designs by employing the appropriate implantation system. This was a patient who had undergone a biaxial microincision cataract surgery. The corneal incision enlarged 1.8 mm post cataract removal. An initial unsuccessful attempt was made to insert a single piece hydrophobic intraocular lens through this incision. The incision finally had to be enlarged to 2 mm, which is the recommended minimal incision size for this lens. These two patients were scheduled to receive single piece in the back hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens. All the steps went on as planned till the time of exit of the optic from the cartridge. For some reason, both the lenses flipped at this stage and got oriented front surface back, which was not the intention. This lens being an equiconvex IOL without any angulation, one of the options would be to implant the lens in the back as shown in the video to the left. Another option would be to flip it back to its intended orientation as shown in the video to the right. The trailing haptics of both the IOLs were subsequently tapped into the capsular bag. The trailing haptic of any lens may be inserted within the capsular bag or sulcus using the compression technique. Here we demonstrate the technique using the sensor intraocular lens. This being a blind procedure may at times be hazardous and result in trauma to the ciliary body. Bleeding in this case was arrested by hyperinflating the anterior chamber and raising the intraocular pressure. This is the final case in this series where a sensor IOL is implanted using the Emerald series with 2% methyl cellulose. Everything apparently went off well until the final stage. The white deposits visible on the IOL surface is usually not a cause for concern since it disappears by the time the patient is seen on the next day. Hence, in our experience, most of the complications related to intraocular lenses are avoidable if one is meticulous and discerning at all stages of the implantation process.